Good evening. My name is Tom Smith. I'm better known as Smitty. I'm director of Public Citizens Texas Office. For over 20 years, we've been working with TCEQ and the staff to come up with a clean air plan that works to reduce air pollution in the Dallas Fort Worth area. And while I like a lot of the people on the TCEQ staff, the conclusion is clear. TCEQ and the state of Texas have failed to protect the people who live and breathe in the Dallas Fort Worth area from the impacts of air pollution. You have heard from the Dallas County about the Dallas County Medical Society study, and you'll hear about it later when Dr. Haley gets here. American Lung Association has recently given the air quality in the Dallas Fort Worth area an F. And for the 20 years I've been working with you all on these plans, every one of those plans has failed to reduce the air quality pollutants enough to bring air safe air to the Dallas Fort Worth area. Other states in that period of time, other communities have attained their standards, and yet TCEQ has failed. And I'm here tonight on behalf of one of my members, Lou Ann, who first came to our meetings on air quality in the Dallas-Fort Worth area back around 1999. She had an inhaler in those days. And the last couple times I saw her, she was not an asthmatic anymore, but she had full-blown lung cancer. She was on oxygen. She would come to those meetings because she believed that citizens could make a difference. Luann had never smoked a day in her life. Nobody in her family had ever smoked. She blamed the power plants that she lived downwind of for causing her that cancer. And over the years, dating back to the mid-1997 era when Pete Breitenbach worked for you, the evidence was clear that if you just put pollution controls on the power plants, the big coal plants to the south and east, that it would have a dramatic decrease in the ozone levels in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. In 2007, uh, you all did studies, and Byron did, that indicated that if you just put pollution controls on Big Brown and Monticello and Martin Lake, it would make a huge decrease in the emissions that are causing air pollution in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. About three years ago, the Texas Medical Association and the Dallas County Medical Society released a study that indicated if you just put SCRs on those big old power plants that you would likely come very close or perhaps attain. And while you all have quit really looking at for solutions to air quality in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, uh, the folks at University of North Texas, funded by a group of us, used your models, used your data, and determined that if you just put the same pollution controls that have been on our car since 1977 on those old coal plants, that you would come reduce emissions enough to attain the 75 part per billion standard. Now your staff scoffed at that and said it's only one part per billion, but that's what it takes to attain. That's what it takes to come into compliance with the, with the Clean Air Act for the first time in 20 years. Yet the SIP that you guys have come up with once again fails to make any significant reduction in power plants, the kilns, or the emissions from the Barnett Shale. Now, if you were in college and you failed four times in a row, you'd flunk out. If you failed to meet a performance standard in high school, they wouldn't pass you on to the next grade. So why is it that we in Texas continue to have hope that TCEQ will do that job? Well, we're announcing we don't believe it anymore. And we're asking the federal government and EPA to come in and do a federal implementation plan to finally clean the air up in Texas. And we've learned time and time again, whether it be on air quality or civil rights or water protection or haze, that about the only time we make significant progress is when the federal government walks in and says, we're going to shut you down and take it over. And now is the time for us once again to say this plan fails. You all have failed. Your commissioners have failed. Our governor has failed. 
And our, our, our attorney general continues to make matters worse by suing time after time on lawsuits he knows he's going to lose. Failure should not be rewarded. And it's time for somebody who will actually do the job to step in and take over for y'all. Thank you all very much for your time. Sunshine. Sunshine.